Comic Sans a miss walks into a restaurant and the waiter goes, sorry, we don't serve your type here. How's it going guys? I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force and today I'll be showing you how to add custom fonts to your WordPress website. Fonts are a key element of your website that can influence how your visitors or audience perceives you. And this is why it's really important to have the right font that matches the exact emotion or image that you're trying to convey. Because having the wrong font can have the complete opposite effect, just like this bad example over here. And we want to avoid that. And just for you guys in this video, I'll only be demonstrating using Comic Sans MS. I'm just kidding. And if you're new to the channel, we're Brainstorm Force, and we're the company behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra. And we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in checking out any of that content, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. All right, here we are on the computer, and I've actually broken this video down into three different methods. The first one is for those of you that are using Astra and want to add Google fonts onto Astra. The second method is for those of you that are not using Astra and still want to use Google Fonts. And lastly, it'll be adding a third party font that's not a Google font onto any WordPress theme, including Astra or any other theme that you may be using. But before we jump into method one, I'm just going to quickly show you where you can get some custom fonts for your website from. And the first option we have here is Google Fonts. Google Fonts is the largest library of fonts on the web. And as you can see here, they have more than 900 different styles you can choose from. And as I scroll down, you can see that it's like endless possibilities that you can use on your website. I'll show you how to add these onto your website really easily later on in the video. And the next option we have here is defont.com. Defont's also another font library that you can use and has all these different really cool fonts by different authors from all over the world that you can use for absolutely free. See here, free for personal use. And when it comes to commercial use, just make sure you check the licensing terms because sometimes you might have to donate to the author to be able to use it for commercial purposes. But as you can see, there's all these different styles and designs over here that you can use. So these are both really good options. And now I'm going to take you onto my demo website. And this is my demo website. It's a clean install of WordPress. And all I've done is install the Astra theme on top. Astra is the most popular WordPress theme out there, and I've installed one of their premium starter templates on top. And these starter templates are like a pre-built website that you can install at a click of a button. That includes all these widgets, all the content, all the buttons, menus, everything you see here on this page, all at a click of a button. If you're interested in checking out Astra, I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's get started with the first method. And right now, this, like I said, this is a website with the Astra theme installed. And this is probably the easiest method when it comes to using Google Fonts. I'll show you because in Astra, you already have Google fonts preloaded along with the theme. So first thing we have to do is go into our customization menu. You can do that by clicking on the customize button over here, or you can go into your dashboard, go into appearance on the left hand side of the dashboard menu, and then go into customize. And this is what the customization menu looks like. And what you have to do next is on the left hand side, go to global and go into typography. And now you have the option of changing two different styles of text on your website. One is the headings, all the headings that you see on your website, the ones here and here. And you also have your base typography, which are all the main body texts that you see all over the place. All right, so what we're going to do is change both of these and replace them with Google Fonts. So I'm first going to pick the headings. And if I open this up, you'll see that you have a huge drop down list of fonts. And if, and if you guess right, these are all Google Fonts. And I'll show you. See right at the top, it says Google and everything below that are all Google fonts. The ones you saw on Google fonts website, all preloaded with Astra. So that's really cool. What we're going to do now is choose a font that we can replace the current heading one with. I'm going to go and choose. I'm going to go and choose one called play. And as you can see, it doesn't quite suit the sweet shop look that we got going on, but it is really different from the one we had default. So I'll just leave it at that for the demonstration. Now I'll go back into the base typography. And we're going to replace the railway font with something else. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down here and Zen Tokyo Zoo sounds pretty good. <laughs> all right, it's replaced our body font here, the base typography font. And as you can see, it did change and it's working, but does not look as good as it can be. 
And this is why I just stick to making these YouTube tutorials and leave the design for the starter templates up to the talented design team. But I'm just going to replace this now with something that looks a little bit more readable. Let's use the Nova Mono. All right, we'll leave it at that. It looks quite different from the default font. And I'll just give you a quick side by side comparison to what it looks like now with the Google fonts versus what it looked like at the start. And you can see now on the left hand side, you have the default font. And on the right hand side, you have the Google font version. And you can see that it's really different and you can replace these with any fonts that you'd like. Anything that suits your branding, anything that suits what you're trying to convey to your audience. So it's really cool. And you have a whole variety of different fonts to choose from. That's what's amazing about Google fonts. And like I said, with Astra, it's preloaded and you don't have to do anything. And it's good to go straight out of the box. And while we're talking about Astra's typography, I'll give you another tip as well. So if you go back into the customization menu, and you'll see a tab down here called performance. If I click on that tab here, there'll be a toggle here so that says load Google fonts locally. And what this means is that every time there's a request for Google fonts on your website, rather than having to send that request to Google, you can load that font straight from your own server. This allows for an improved website performance. And that's with Astra 3.6 or higher. So if you upgrade to Astra 3.6 or a later version, you'll have the option to host your Google fonts locally. I'm just going to toggle that on. And then down here, you also have the option of preloading your local fonts. Usually when a web page loads, it first loads the content that will be first visible on the screen. But with preloading, it will load all the fonts right off the bat at the start and save on loading time, and thus giving your visitors a much more enjoyable user experience on your website. So I'm also going to toggle that on. And these features are all part of the free version of Astra. And with Astra Pro, you can unlock even more freedom with typography, getting the ability to completely customize your website from head to toe. You can customize the fonts and styles of your menus, header, buttons, blogs, and even more. You'll have complete control of your typography at your fingertips. And if you want to check out Astra Pro, I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's it for our first method. Let's move on to method number two. And for those of you that are not using Astra and you still want to use Google Fonts on your website, don't worry because I got your back as well. And for those users, I recommend this plugin called the Fonts plugin. What this does is it loads Google Fonts onto your WordPress website really easily. And for this demonstration, I've already gone ahead and installed the Fonts plugin, as you can see here on the WordPress dashboard. And if you need any help installing this plugin, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to help you out. And once that's installed, all you have to do, the same method as Astra, go into the Appearance tab, down into Customize, and click that. And once again, you can see that we're in the customization menu, but because we're not using Astra, it looks a little bit different. I'll just open this blog article so you can see more of the text on the page that we'll be customizing. We'll do the same thing again and replace the headings and the body text with Google Fonts. And unlike Astra, instead of a typography menu, now you have the Fonts plugin menu over here. If you have the Fonts plugin installed, we're just going to click on that, go into basic settings. And once again, you have the option to change your base typography, heading typography, as well as the buttons and inputs. We're just going to play around with the two options here. So if I drop down the font family here under base typography and scroll down a little bit, you can see that we have a tab for Google Fonts. Everything below this is once again Google Fonts. I'm just going to go ahead and choose similar ones as last time. I'm just going to pick Play Ball this time. And you can see that it's changed a really cool, playful, cursive type font like this one. And it's also gone ahead and changed the headings as well at the moment. But we're just going to go and change the headings down here. And we're going to switch this to, we're going to pick Spyrex. Always wonder how they come up with these names for the fonts. It always sounds really fancy and cool. And that, that one looks quite cool too. Spyrex. All right. So it looks really different from the default fonts that we had on this website. Let's do a side by side comparison. On the left hand side now, you see the default font that we had at the start. And on the right hand side, we have the Google fonts installed. And you can see that it's really different. And once again, you have complete freedom of what Google font to choose. You have a whole library that you can choose from. And it's really easy to change them as well, as you saw in the demonstration. And when it comes to the fonts plugin, you also have a pro version, as you can see down here. Unlock upgrading to the pro version gives you access to unlock font size and color. You can change that straight out of this customization menu. And you can do the same thing with Astra Pro. And it gives you the option to host fonts locally, which we know is already a feature with the free version of Astra. 
And the next feature is optimized font loading, which is also a feature with Astra. And the last feature you have here is uploading custom fonts. These are all part of the pro version of the fonts plugin. And if you want to find out more, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. Now let's move on to the third method. And this is for those of you that want to add a third party font onto your WordPress website that's not a Google font. This could be one from a website like thefont.com. And for those of you that are using Astra to do this, I recommend that you use the custom fonts plugin, this one you see here. It's a really cool plugin and it's optimized for Astra. And would you look at that? It's created by Brainstorm Force as well. No wonder it's so good. And if I look down here, you can see what it currently works with. Currently, it only works with the Astra theme and the Beaver Builder theme and Beaver Builder and Elementor as well. So if you're using Astra with any of these page builders, then I really recommend that you use this plugin. But for the purpose of this video, I've decided to use this other plugin called use any font. This is because this plugin works across a larger range of themes. I just want to make sure I'm helping as many of you out there as possible with this tutorial. And it is a free plugin as well. So I've just gone ahead and installed it ahead of time. So if I go back onto my demo website, we're going to go into our dashboard. And once the plugin's installed, it should appear at the bottom of your left hand side menu here. If I click on that, and this is what the menu for this plugin looks like. And the first thing you have to do is generate a free API key. You can click on that. Then you're going to click on verify. And what this API key is for is to actually convert the font that you upload into a font that's universally accepted on any web browser. And it explains that a little bit down here. It's really cool how it does this. But next, you're going to go into the upload font tab over here. And we're going to press upload fonts. And if you know the name of the font you're going to use, you can give it a name here. And, but first, I'm just going to choose a font from down here. I'm going to click on Browse. And the font I'm using is called Candy Cake. I just thought it would really suit the dessert themed website that we got going on. And you can see down here that the accepted font formats are TTF, OTF, and WOFF. If you're interested in learning more about these font types, I'll leave an interesting article below that explains a little bit more about the different font types. And once that's loaded and uploaded, you can give it a name as well. And just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to write test at the front just so we can identify it when we choose our font later on. And once that's done, you can press the upload button here. And as you can see here, our font has been successfully loaded onto the plugin, and it even gives you a preview of what the font looks like. That's really cool. And I really like this font type, and I think it will really suit the demo website that we have. And that's it. That's all you have to do with the plugin. And because this is the free version of the plugin, you will only be allowed to add one font at any given time. If you want to add any other font designs, you're going to have to delete this one here. I'll explain a little bit more about the paid version of the plugin later on, which lets you add even more font styles if you want. But anyway, that's done here. We're going to, what we're going to do now is go back into the appearance menu here and go down into customize. And by now, you should be pretty familiar with this menu here. We're going to go back into the left hand side here, global, and click on typography. And what we're going to do is change the space hit the heading here into the one we just added, the cake one. So I click on headings. And at the moment, it's the play font that we chose earlier in method number one. We're going to drop it down and we're going to go all the way up. And you'll see other system fonts. And just below that, you'll see a tab for use any font. And you can see that the one we just added is present here. So I'm just going to click on that one here. Test candy cake. And would you look at that? It's loaded in and it looks a lot better than the one we just had before. I actually quite like that one. And you can see that it's replaced all the other, other headings as well. And let's do a little side by side, shall we? So on the left hand side, you can see the <laughs> weird looking design that we had at the start versus the one with the custom font that we just added. Please comment down below and let me know which font that you'll be working with on your website. And as you can see, it was really easy to use this plugin. You just upload the font you want to use. And you change your website to that. But sometimes when you upload your font, your website's cache might not be refreshed. In that case, even if you see your font under use any font over here, when you change it to that, it might not show the changes live on your website. When that happens, I recommend that you do a hard reload. And what a hard reload does, is it clears our browser's cache. And with Google Chrome, it's really easy to do. But first, make sure you publish it so that it saves whatever font that you've chosen. I'm going to click on publish. And then you're going to press Control Shift R on your keyboard. And that's the shortcut on Google Chrome. 
And once you do that, it's going to clear your cache and refresh your web page. And now your font should be visible on your website. If you have any issues with this, please let me know in the comments down below. And as I've mentioned earlier in the video, this is only the free version of the plugin. So you'll only be able to add one font at any given time with this plugin. And if you want to upgrade to the pro version, you can add as many fonts as you'd like. And it's actually a really sweet deal if you want to upgrade because you can get a lifetime license for only $9.99 for one site, or you can get up to 10 sites for $29.99, or even get unlimited sites for $49.99. And these are lifetime licenses. So it's really convenient too. If you're interested in checking this out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's it for this video. But before you click away, make sure you click on our logo over here and subscribe. And you can even watch more of our WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.